hello um so welcome to my youtube channel Welcome to my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Mm. I love this. The first video I recorded, I made it a makeup video. I said, out of the blue, oh, I'm gonna make a video. Let me do it. I started recording. And. I should have never brought these into my room. Oh, last one. sanitizer ah. okay so what am I? Teeth. Ah. okay so um I've had so many difficulties recording um, technical difficulties, dumb Karina difficulties, just everything was happening at once, and I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> but here we are, so welcome, hello, this is my first YouTube video, and yeah, as I was saying before I was distracted by the popcorn. Mm. <laughs> um, the first video I recorded, I recorded me doing my makeup. But that was a fail because I was doing my makeup and then at times that I was doing my makeup, I was really just dis distracted. And then I was talking about nonsense and so it was just, it was just bad. So, bad. So maybe, maybe one day I'll post that, but not today. So, okay. So for this uh, video, I'm going to do a quick little introduction of me so you can get to know me if you don't already know me but most likely you're gonna know me because most likely you're my friend most likely you're waiting for this video and I'm sorry it's so late but um where did I grow up where am I from I'm from Houston Texas of course born and raised H town what I'd pull up the H but I know my mom would be like why are you doing that so yes my mom and my dad are from Mexico, San Luis Potosí to be exact. And yes, I do speak Spanish. I've been bilingual my whole life. I've been a little translator since I was in elementary. So yes, 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 yes. I do know about La Chancla and El Cinturón. And I'll bring snacks into your room. 
And I do get yelled at for having water bottles in my room. Yes, indeed. Um. Also, okay. The reason why I'm like a little... Is because I had started recording this video 20 minutes ago. Here I am talking, answering this question, like going on, like getting excited. And in my head, I'm like, oh my god, you actually have things to say. Wow, you're actually not that boring. And then my friend calls and I answer it. And I'm like, oh my god, hold on, I'm recording. And I look at it. And I pause it. Pause it. And then the camera starts recording. And I'm like... does um wow i've really been talking to myself staring at a camera for the past 20 minutes and so anyways if he wouldn't have called then <laughs> i've been talking for like an hour and then still had no video so okay so back to the question um who is my first best friend who was my first best friend um, her name was Kimberly. We met in elementary school. We were really good friends for like three years. And then one summer, I didn't know where she went. I'm sorry, I'm reaching for my Big Red. If you know about Big Red, you know about Big Red. If you know about Big Red, oh my god. <laughs> but anyways, back to the story. One summer um, later, she didn't come back and I was really confused because I was still in elementary. So I didn't know where she had gone. And I was asking my teachers and all of that. And it turns out that her and her family had moved back to Mexico. And I didn't know. So then we lost touch. And I was still little, so I didn't really have like platforms, social media, or phone. Um, to try and find her and it wasn't until high school where, where we connected on Facebook and we started talking again which is really cool actually so shout out to Facebook where do I currently live so I actually go to school at UVA University of Virginia so I live there in dorms in Charlottesville but right now because of cor the coronavirus COV-19 um, and this whole pandemic that's going down um, I am back at home for the rest of the semester. Um, a lot of, it's been a really confusing thing. Um, we're switching on to online classes, which I'm really stressed about because clearly I am not tech savvy. So, you know, it's a little bit of <laughs> in my head and I get really stressed. And like, actually, fun fact, when I get really stressed, the veins in my eyes pop, like my eyes hemorrhage. Wow, my lash. Um, but, um, yeah, so, like, my eye, wow, this is gonna bother me. Wow. If you see a problem, you just stop and fix it, right? Why did you do this to me? Wow, oh, she betrayed me. Okay, I think that's fixed, but, um... God, am I really close to you guys? Love it. Oh. Oh, is that better? Oh, I think that that's way better. Okay. And so, yeah, because of Corona, I'm here um, in Houston. So if I'm not in college on grounds in Charlottesville, Virginia, then I'd be here in Houston. Um, yes. Yes, sir. How tall am I? I am five one and a half. Yes, the half does matter. Uh, for the people that don't believe in the half, it's probably because you're above five one. So, <laughs> dogs or cats? Do I look like a cat person? No. Dogs all the way. Um, I have two dogs of my own, Baby and Titi. They're little Maltipoos. Baby is really sassy. Like people don't believe me, but like. She will mean mug you if you pet the other puppy before you pet her. And she's like, don't talk to me. Like, if you do that, she won't, like, come to you. Like, she'll just sit and be like, mm-hmm, whatever. But then Titi, she's a sweetheart. She, like, loves being cuddled. She loves, like, going up to people. 
really cute. And then my brother owns a Husky Jax, which is a troublemaker. Baby does not like him. If he like comes into where she is, she'll like bark at him and like try to attack him. Even though like keep in mind she's like this tall and like like she's she's like the size of my shoe, but like big and a little fat because she likes carrots and treats. Um, yeah, like she does not like him, and Titi doesn't like him either. They have this little kennel that is like their safe space, I guess, and like they just stay in there when he's out and about, and then like when he's not there, they come out. So yeah, I have dogs, so I love dogs. Uh, my funniest moments throughout high school. Um, oh my goodness, I didn't mention my best friends. So in high school, I made best friends. Like, um, apart from my long lost childhood best friend, um, that's where I, in high school I met Caitlin, Alexa, all my soccer girls, Allison, Yesenia, Carla. And then my guys, Long, Max, and Jalen, and who else? Hmm. Hmm. But those are like the closest people that I have, and like also like the people that I have like the most memorable high school memories with, because um, we were always together. Um, Y'all remember Coach Doctor? Mhm, mm mhm. Mm and um, actually, like Long, Max, and Jalen were the ones that got me into watching Naruto. And Seven Deadly Sins with Hawk, the little cute pig. Like, how how was I not gonna watch that with that little pig? And like at the end when he like interrupted once again. So yeah, at the end when he comes a cute little pig, he's like this small, like so cute. Um, and then in college, I've made also like really close friends. Uh, LeBron, my ride or die. Like I love her. I've shared a lot of like really funny memories with her. You understand one time we're outside insomnia cookies on the corner which like you'd understand you're from Charlottesville if you've been to UVA oh my god big red got me oh also I don't drink a lot of coke um that's why like when I do oh my god excuse me <laughs> I'm one of those people but um yeah oh coke Dr. Pepper Sprite big red for sure um, and sweet tea. That's not Coke, but, you know, drinks. Um, and then, so yeah, like my funniest one, oh, we were outside, <laughs> my head, my brain. Um, we were outside in Zombie Cookies, um, on Halloween, I think. We went to get cookies. No. We were going somewhere. And, um, there's this guy, and he was like, oh, he was talking on the phone, trying to get someone, give someone his location. Uh, keep in mind, LeBron's from Chicago, so she's got Chicago mentality. <laughs> and so, um, this guy, he was, like, giving someone's, um, get, trying to find somebody or something. So he was like, yeah, I'm in front of him and saw my cookies and, like, this little angel with this little devil. Like, they're, like, fine little thing. And they're walking in front of me. And LeBron goes, hold up. Huh? And, like, she, like, goes up to me and he, I don't know what she said, but she was like, watch yourself or something. Keep in mind, this is a grown man. And I'm like, she did not. And like, what? Like, we... Two college girls alone. Well, not alone, but like surrounded by people, but like alone. LeBron, what? And so then the guy was like, who are you talking to like that? Da, 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 da. And LeBron was like... <laughs> and she, and she, like she started talking back and then I'm like okay LeBron let's go let's go and then this one guy like while we're having like this discussion with this other guy pulls up to Le like he like walks up next to LeBron and he was like hey you're so pretty like while she's arguing this guy's like oh you're so pretty like can I get your phone number and LeBron's like what and so in my head I'm like what is going on like 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 this is really how guys think like you see we're in this like situation and like, instead of like approaching the situation and be like hey like back off like let them be like you're gonna go up and be like hey can I get your number can I please can I get your number can I can I <laughs> y'all know the video hey can I have your number can I can I please can I please get your number um, what's his name Shelly my <laughs> Shelly <laughs> that's a funny video um but um yeah and so like then she like walk away pulling out her pocket knife and I'm like girl you have a pocket knife and then she's like yeah I always carry it with me girl I'm from Chicago and I'm like okay love Chicago all right 
Okay. And then I'm like, LeBron, don't ever do that again. <laughs> when we're walking away, I'm like, don't ever. <laughs> Please. And then we've never been in a situation like that ever since. But, like, yeah. Like, I've shared a lot of funny, like, memories with LeBron. And then I've also shared a lot of, like, funny memories with Alvin. Like, just too many. <laughs> too many. <laughs> And yeah, like they own my heart. Like all my friends that I talked about in this video, they own my heart. And of course, like like there's like other friends that I have that I've also had like really funny memories with. But you know. And then I guess with my brother, like I've had like really funny <laughs> watching him play VR, do VR. Like he had my dad rock climbing one time, and my mom too. And tell me my <laughs> my mom was rock climbing, and then an insect appears on the screen, and she freaks out, and she starts getting scared. Oh my goodness. But yes, okay, my next question. Um, where did I stop? Oh, orange juice or apple juice? I definitely go for apple juice. Like, I don't like the pulp in the orange juice, but like a lot of people say that's their favorite part, and I'm just like, I can't. Wow, my spit just went. So if you see that, my bit, my bit, excuse me. I just got really excited about that. My glands right now, because of the popcorn, I still see the popcorn. So in my mind, I'm like, as soon as I finish this video, I get to eat that popcorn. With salsa valentina, see? Y pepino cortado con sal y limón. What sports do you play or have played? Um, I played soccer in high school, well, throughout my whole high school. And I was going to do um, intramural at college, but with all of this going on, they canceled all spring sports, so I'm not doing that anymore. But I'm probably going to do that once, once that we get back in a can. I've also ran track. Um, and in college, I've gotten into basketball, I guess, for fun. Like, I'm not that good, but, like, I'm okay. Like, I, from the beginning where I started and it was bad till now, like, I'm like, okay, like, I can shoot. You know, like, three points. <laughs> Kobe. But, you know. Um, yeah. Um, blah, 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 blah. What are my life goals? Um, so I'm a bio major on the pre-med track and like I'm gonna be really happy once I graduate and go like get into med school and um, become a doctor. Like that's my like long life goal. Like I've always wanted to be a doctor um, because my mom, we've been in and out of the doctors and like just a lot of things. And like I feel really strongly about education and like people pursuing um, y you know their careers um, and so yeah like I'm really excited for that and accomplishing that for myself and like for the well-being of others like being able to give back and help like that's really exciting to me like especially like in the doctor like in a, in a health field where you can really help contribute to people feeling better and like all of this especially for me like I love babies like I can't wait to have babies of my own but like right now it's not my time I know like yes come down I, I, I have been coming down but um yes like I want to work with babies like I want to become a neonatal specialist which they're not really the babies but like you know like they're still inside the womb like still but like I want to help like contribute to minimizing um the high risk pregnancies minorities tend to have wow that sounded really i don't know why i sounded like that but yes i want to help like minimize high risk pregnancies overall because i think it's really sad that people like want to have babies but like their body doesn't allow them to and like it causes them to have like a miscarriage i think that's really sad and so like that's like what i want to help contribute in life and like you know help like babies come into this world i'm sorry i'm gonna put on my glasses because um uh, oh, 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 hey this is new i'm a new person now i felt like perry the platter was doing like a little little change but <laughs> yeah um how would I describe my fashion sense? I don't have one. I always ask people for advice on what I'm going to wear. But sometimes, though, like, I'd be pulling some really cute outfits. And I'm like, ooh. But I do love doing makeup. So in some future videos, I do plan on doing makeup tutorials just for fun. Um, I love doing makeup. I love doing nails. Like, I did my nails today. Um, yes, by myself. Thank you. All by myself. Yes. Um, what is my 
go-to hairstyle when I had long long hair that I miss please come back um, I would always just have it in a bun which I'm really sad now because I used to have long curly hair but I bleached it and dyed it and because mental breakdown stress wanting to change um, you know the reasons why we dye our hair um, and so that would be my go-to hairstyle but lately like I just wear it down like this like I do my little side part but also when I'm really stressed or when I'm doing work or when I take tests I always have to have my hair up because if I feel it touching me like I just feel like I can't concentrate and so fun fact yeah every time I do take a test or do any work like I always have to have my hair up and if not like I feel like I'm not at my full potential um what is my go-to fast food order okay so at Waterburger, I would get the, what's it called? It has like the two patties and then I add jalapenos, add cheese. And instead of mustard, I replace it with mayo. And the meat has to be well done. I don't like when the meat isn't well done. My sister really made it a habit for all of us to ask for meat well done. And yeah, and when I eat it, I like eat like half of it as is. And then like the other half, like I'll take off the top. And then just eat like the bottom with the two patties like that like just the bottom half of the burger not the top I don't know why that's what I do and when I eat <laughs> when I eat I have to be eating fries and it at the same time like I can't eat just one thing before the other and then at Jack in the Box curly fries and then at McDonald's you know that dollar menu hot and spicies which I really missed when I was in Virginia because tell me why in Virginia there's no hot and spicies like why they have McChickens that aren't spicy. They're just regular chicken. Like they really don't mess with spice up there and I don't know what to tell you. Like I was really concerned about not finding hot Cheetos and having to like order them through Amazon because I was gonna do that. Like I was gonna get like a Amazon subscription to hot Cheetos and Takis, but like I was stressed. That was one of my stress. I was like, they really don't deal with spice like <laughs> they really think salt and pepper, that's it, but <laughs> they don't know about Goya, they don't know about nothing and so it's kind of stressful but yeah and then at all my orders with sweet tea i always get sweet tea always most of the time um how many siblings do i have i have two older siblings one older brother and one older sister um, my sister graduates from law school this summer and my brother he's on the computer engineer track me bio track of course as i've mentioned um uh, do I have any bad habits? Yes, I do. My hair is testimony to it. <laughs> That's why it's short now, and I really want it to grow, though. Like, I've been trying to take care of it more. And, you know, let it do its thing. A little bit. So, I'm trying to take care of it. Um, okay, so, my strange addiction. Please don't judge me, but, like, when you pump gas... I love the smell of gasoline like not love it but like it's like oh like okay like I don't know okay it, it, it is really weird but I do like the smell of gas and then let's see what else um I didn't know people didn't eat their eggs with ketchup I do that okay so I'm back again let me make sure this isn't okay yeah Sorry, my uh, battery in my other camera died, so here I am using my Buzz GoPro now. And so, yeah, also, like, let me introduce Guacardo. My sister got him for me for my birthday. Isn't he the cutest thing? Oh, weird. This is my the favorite um, way of positioning him, holding his own. Oh, But yeah, also my favorite part. Let me straighten out his arms. Okay, relax. Arms. Look. He has a butt. So yes, I'm Lavardo, and he traveled with me from Virginia. So, as I was saying, yeah, I didn't know people didn't like eating their eggs with ketchup. 
So, I don't know. Maybe that's a cultural thing. So, yeah. Um, but, what was I going to say? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm really, I have a lot of little weird things that I do, but I don't know what's considered a strange addiction after that. Beyond that, after that. So, yeah. Um, my role model would be my mom, of course. Um, she's just accomplished a lot and experienced a lot of things in her life and like I really admire her for it and like for being the woman that she is today. Like I aspire to be like her. Um, but I'm, I've also like, I am really proud of my dad and like how like he's accomplished so much and like he's worked his way up like to where he is today. So like I'm really proud of him for that too. And my siblings too. Like, um, um, what are my pet peeves? I don't like when people slurp. Like, only because I used to do it when I was little and my mom would get so mad at me. Okay, go, 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 go to sleep. Um, because my mom would get on me for that. So I get on people for that too. Um, another pet peeve would be being interrupted when I'm talking or like people not, like feeling like people aren't listening to me like feeling like I'm being like not listening to you. and I I also like also because like because of my mom like like she's a really strict person so like if I say a certain time I'm gonna be home I have to be home at a certain time and if I'm not home at a certain time I'm like really like in the car like panicking like actually like having anxiety because I need to be home like and I know that's a lot of Hispanic people a lot of Latinx people because I feel that a lot and so if you're not on time or like if you're not at a certain place when you tell me you're gonna be at a certain place I in my head I'm like Why would you like me? Oh, and I hate being lied to. I hate being lied to. Like, I'm traumatized by a lot. It's like, don't tell me you love me. You don't love me. You don't want you me. Don't tell me. And then, like, just don't lie to me. Like, if you can be straight up with me, then just be straight up with me. I'd rather you tell me things than lie to me. Like, just hurt, hurt my feelings. Instead of getting me upset. Like, just hurt my feelings. Don't lie to me. Just tell me it's over. Oh, my God. Um, but, yeah. Like, I hate being lied to. And then when you find out they're lying and they still, like, don't want to admit and justify it. Like, how are you going to... How are you going to... It don't make... It doesn't make any sense. Like, if you lied, you lied. And then you don't want to own up to it? But also, that just reminded me how, like, before I made this YouTube channel, I'd actually record a lot of me, like, doing a lot of things, tutorials and really weird things, just on my Snapchat and post it, and people would be like, I hate you. And, like, I'm like, okay, it's okay. If you don't like me, you don't like me. But like, why are you gonna tell me to not, like, that, why would you have me on Snapchat and watch my Snapchat stories and then slide up and tell me you don't like my long Snapchat stories of like, if you like me as a friend, you like me as a person, then why can't you watch it? Like, why are you gonna, why are you, why are you so disrespectful? But yes, and then another pet peeve. When the toilet seat is up, you know, put it back down. But when you leave a light on, that should be off. Or like when you lie to me. Okay, next question, because I'm gonna just keep going on about these lies. Um, <laughs> do you know your personality type? I do, but honestly, it's some weird thing, and I don't remember the weird thing, so... No, I lied. 
no, not I. I'm not lying about me having taken the long test, but I'm lying about me knowing that it's a weird long thing because I don't know what that long thing is anymore. So, um, what is one thing I wish people knew about me? I wish people knew that I'm really sensitive. Although, like, I feel like my personality kind of gives it away. But it's only because, like, I feel like sometimes people aren't mindful of other people. And, like, I get my feelings hurt really quick. And I feel like a lot of times people don't notice. And, and like, it's also my fault because I feel like I should be... Um, more outspoken and like let people know about what bothers me but like I just wish I didn't have to do that like don't make me tell you that you hurt my feelings like why <laughs> anyways okay <laughs> let's, let's um what social media am I addicted to snapchat like I I love snapchatting and like half of the time I don't know what I'm doing and like it's a bunch of random things but there I am on snapchat mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what am I happiest with in my life right now um here I am thinking like I don't know the answer but I am really happy with the friends that I have surrounded myself with, and did y'all see that? There's something flying. Ah, I couldn't get that did. Um, and someone, someone, someone makes my little heart flutter. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, yeah, and. My celebrity crush, I don't have one. I don't really follow celebrities like that. JK. JK. Not a celebrity, but a football player from the LSU team. Go Tigers, baby. Go Tigers. <laughs> um, have I failed at anything and what did I learn? I failed at many things. I have failed at many things in my life. I fail every day. There's, uh, there's been a lot of success in my life, but oh lord, has there been failures? Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God knows, God knows who Karina is, and God knows Karina needs to get it together. Cause if you see a problem, you fix it, right? Like, God, fix me a little bit. Um, did I already describe my coffee order? I don't know if I did it in this video or like my technologically like dysfunctioning video, but in college, um, I've gotten really into my venti chai tea with soy. I forever love the person that made me add soy. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around and watching my first YouTube video and listening to me talk about and answer questions um, um mm, 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 mm. please subscribe please give this video a like and comment below on things you want me to you want me to record doing or things you want to hear me talk about i could do story times makeup tutorials um trying diy things you know all the jazz but Thank you for watching. I really hope this video was somewhat entertaining and good to watch. Um, I hope you want to know more about me. I hope I'm intriguing to you. Um, but thank you for sticking to the end. And I appreciate you. I love you. I'm Karina. 
Bye. Finally, the recording. <laughs>